A meeting in Milford tonight about the fate of a historic home. And the majority of folks agreed with what to do with it. News 8's Naka Nuosu live in our New Haven newsroom tonight with that. Naka? Darren and the one member and one alternate voted against. The majority agree it is time to tear down that 223-year-old home. For the first time in 35 years, the Milford Historical Commission voted to demolish a landmark building. And uh, it's done with a lot of sadness. This is the home in question on North Street. News 8 first visited the historic site in May. Built in 1790, it's a piece of Milford history. That's why Bill Farrell bought it. Soon he learned the home is unsafe. So he brought a structural engineer to the historical commission asking to demolish the building and rebuild. Monday, members of the historic commission voted to tear it down. It's a very difficult decision. Some members felt the significance of the building made it worth saving, while others stressed structural studies that found 10% of the home was unsalvageable. When we went through this house, it was heartbreaking to see the, the destruction, to see the, the rotted boards. It, it was it was it was not safe. I didn't feel that it was safe to even be in the house at that point in time. Monday, the commission also voted to approve plans for a new home on the property, a home built in the 21st century, but designed to fit the character of the historic district. I, I know it's going to fit. The, the issue is it's going to be a replication. It will not be the original. That, that we couldn't do anything about. Well, the owner did not want to comment tonight, but his next step will be to apply for the necessary permits to demolish and rebuild in the historic neighborhood. Live in the newsroom, Neka Nuosu, News 8.